Hello, welcome to my 11 week pregnancy update. I have a lot of things that I want to talk to you about today, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and talk about my symptoms that I've had from about the time that I found out that I was pregnant until now. I first found out that I was pregnant, I wasn't really having too many symptoms besides a little bit of tender breasts and that's about it really. Around week six and week seven, I started having the nausea, really bad nausea. Everything smelled horrible. Everything still smells horrible. Tender, swollen breasts, fatigue, really tired. Didn't really feel like doing anything. And I still have nausea and fatigue, but I think I'm gonna be feeling better soon. I have a cold right now, so there's that. On my pregnancy test video, I told you all that I was going to have my first ultrasound on Valentine's Day and the reason why I haven't posted anything about that yet was because it was a really strange ultrasound. I'll go ahead and insert a clip of that ultrasound right here. Now, as you could tell, we really couldn't see the baby yet. All we saw was the sack. If you saw a baby in that clip, go ahead and let me know. That was a really hard day for me. I We didn't see the baby, and we should have. The next day, the nurse called me and told me that I might have a blighted ovum, which is when you have a placenta in a sack, but no baby grew inside. So I had to get some blood tests done. I had to get three sets of blood tests done so they could check my HCG levels to see if they were going up. My HCG levels were going up and I was still having very strong pregnancy symptoms like extreme nausea, uh, extreme fatigue. Since my levels kept going up, they had me come back in for an ultrasound on February 28th. I didn't get any video of that because I wasn't sure what to expect, but I do have some pictures and I'll insert those right here. baby in there and we did hear a heartbeat she only let me hear it for like one second it does have a good strong heartbeat of 163 I was nine weeks when I had that ultrasound done I'm due October 3rd of 2017 so that was very exciting and very reassuring that there is a baby inside of my tummy my current symptoms I still have nausea I'm still tired and weak um, my breasts are still really sore. If you're offended by me saying breasts or whatever, then you might as well just click off of this video and never come back because these are pregnancy updates and that's one of the symptoms is sore breasts. Oh, another symptom that I have is really strange dreams. I have extremely weird crazy dreams and it's just bizarre. I haven't really had too many cravings. Well, I do think about cheeseburgers a lot. <laughs> For once, tacos don't really sound that good. Anything with like, okay, I know I just said hamburgers sound good, but like ground beef just does not sound good other than cheeseburgers. <clears throat> 
And then another food that doesn't really sound good is anything like fish, salmon, or shrimp, or anything like that just really doesn't sound very good right now. I could just imagine the smell and then, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> it makes me feel sick. And then another food that I just recently started craving is my chocolate chip cookies. I make awesome chocolate chip cookies, you guys. I got the recipe that I used off of Pinterest. Hopefully I don't look too fat in this video. Hopefully I look okay. Um, if I don't like this location of the video, then I'll do it somewhere else next time. But I am going to use this footage if it looks alright because I haven't updated in a while and it's time for me to get some videos going back up on my channel. I have been extremely unmotivated here lately and when they told me that I might have the blighted ovum and that I might have a miscarriage, I it really got my anxiety going and I've been in a dark cloud for a while, but I hope that I can get out of that soon and start getting back to normal life. But other than that, everything right now is going pretty good besides the nausea. I actually haven't had any nausea today. St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I haven't had any nausea today. That's a thumbs up for that. Thumbs up for no nausea today. I deserve it, y'all. I deserve it. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and show you a belly shot. I got to redo uh, the camera and then I'll go ahead and show you my belly. Thank you for watching. This is my 11 week belly shot. And now I'm going to give you a belly shot with my shirt up, but please don't pass judgment. I have stretch marks from having two other children and I call them my tiger stripes. Here's my belly with my shirt up. It hasn't really changed too much. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be posting more regular updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You'll get a notification whenever I upload a video. And thank you for watching again. Oh, and please leave a friendly comment below.